In the 1970s, we took a trip to Williamsburg, Virginia. We enjoyed visiting the colonial village and trying some of the traditional colonial foods. I would like to show you this recipe for pumpkin pie that goes all the way back to 1829. It's very simple to make. Grandpa is going to make the pie crust. The ingredients are one cup flour, six tablespoons cold butter, four tablespoons ice cold water. The first thing we're going to do is put the flour in a medium sized bowl. Cut in the butter with a pastry blender or forks until mixture is pebble sized crumbs. Grandpa will add the water now and it's going to blend the mixture until it pulls together. The dough has been formed into a ball and now Grandpa's going to place it on a lightly floured board. Grandpa is rolling out the dough to a 13 inch circle. Grandpa is going to gently roll the dough around the rolling pin. Now he's going to unroll it over the pie plate. Grandpa has to press the edges now and tuck them under. As you can see, Grandpa is crimping the edges. Grandpa is going to poke a few holes in the bottom of the crust with a fork before we bake it. Grandpa now will be putting the pie crust in the oven at 350 degrees for seven minutes. The ingredients to make the pumpkin pie are two cups milk, one beaten egg, half a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon cinnamon, one fourth cup sugar, two tablespoons molasses, one cup mashed cooked pumpkin. To make the pumpkin pie filling, we just have to mix all the ingredients together well. We got to beat it together well. So I'm adding my pumpkin filling. my milk my beaten egg my ginger my cinnamon my molasses and the sugar. And that's how easy it is to put this together for the filling. And now I just have to feed it well. 
it's been all beaten now and it's ready to put in the pie crust but I wanted to mention that the milk I used was whole milk because years ago they didn't have skin milk or low fat milk it's best you use whole milk for this recipe now I will pour the filling into the pie crust The pie is in the oven and now I'll bake it till it gets nice and firm. The pumpkin pie is out of the oven and we had it baking for 60 minutes. Grandpa is now going to taste the pumpkin pie. You could have it plain or you could serve it with a little whipped cream. Grandpa likes to have it with the whipped cream. So how does it taste, Grandpa? Let you know in a minute, Ma. It tastes like pumpkin pie, Ma. You can taste the spices in it. The cinnamon, the ginger, Now I had it without the whipped cream to taste the, the pumpkin pie. Now I'm going to have it with the whipped cream, which I like really. Delicious. And how did the crust come out that you made, Grandpa? The crust came out good. Nice and soft, not too hard. I'm glad you like it. It's a very nice and simple uh, pumpkin pie to make. And this is homemade pumpkin pie. Taking the pumpkins, making the pumpkin uh, puree, adding the ingredients, but better than the, the uh, store-bought puree. Of course. Homemade pies are much better than store-bought, any day. Thank you.